other than this ancient piece of history, which is barely even capable of watching a video on, let alone editing a video, I don't own a laptop. So for the last four months or so, any video that you may have watched on my channel, I've been editing on this, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Plus. And honestly, I love it, and here's why. I've used laptops and computers before in the past to edit videos, and it's okay to use a mouse and, and use a trackpad, but I actually prefer using this guy, the S Pen. It just gives you that extra layer of precision that I don't think you quite get, because that's just a more natural way to pinpoint exactly where you want to move things to. I just call the slider along and pick that exact position of where you want to put an image when you overlay something like this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up as well. And let me know in the comments below what you think of editing on a tablet. As well as the more natural precision of using the pen or even your finger on screen and touching physically where you want to go to rather than using the mouse or trackpad, I also find the convenience of the tablet a lot better. I've got two kids and them two kids are busy constantly and they are always in and out of every room, running around. They have a lot of energy so it's useful for me to be able to be editing a video in the dining room and if they come in and they want to do something on the dining room table i can go into the living room i can edit video on the couch i can also move from the couch to the bedroom and i've edited the video lying down in bed before or a little desk in the bedroom and i can also take it with me to work and edit on my breaks and having that flexibility is great especially in the modern world of not knowing where you're going to edit video harsh light coming from behind me there, so one second let me take care of that, that's better. So to actually edit the videos on here, I've been using an app called PowerDirector Pro. And I do pay for the Pro version, because otherwise you get a watermark down here, it says PowerDirector. And obviously that just looks pretty lame, I'm sure you wouldn't watch this video this long if it had that down there. It also unlocks some extra features as well, which I think are necessary when editing the video. PowerDirector Pro is so easy to use and so intuitive, I mean, it's really quick to pick up and really easy to learn and most of the things that you need like snip, crop, you know, pan and zoom, they're all labelled simply, they don't have complex names, they don't have anything that's confusing and it's not just symbols where you're trying to work out what does this do and what does that do, it's all labelled and explained really easily for you. When some editing software I've used in the past, it is a little bit finicky and you do need to google like how to do certain things on there, so this is really simple and really well thought out on telling you or showing you what to do and how to do it. They even have tutorial videos on there and they're adding new features all the time. You can have multiple layers and that does depend on what resolution you're editing the video at, which it does come up and warn you about. It also lets you downgrade the quality of the video just for editing purposes, so you can edit a lot more smoothly just in case your processor can't handle it if you're editing on your phone or your tablet. It also comes with loads of music, sound effects, overlays, stickers, stock footage built into the app which I think is great especially when getting started and you just want to make simple videos is a really good place to start for looking for things like like buttons. Unfortunately you do lose some functionality with things when you are adding layers so for example you can't pan and zoom like this on a second layer of video it can only be done on the main bit of video route which is a bit of a bummer but it's not a deal breaker. All in all you get pretty confident with the software pretty much straight away. One thing I don't like, which is just something everyone seems to be doing these days, it is not a one-off purchase. Unfortunately, we're just saying goodbye to the era of buying things once and having it forever, right? There are a few things now where you buy it and that's it. Everything tends to be going the subscription model, which I understand is better for the business, but is it best for consumer? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, this isn't going to be as robust and as powerful as something like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe or even Final Cut Pro. But for me, having the convenience and having that flexibility of being able to edit anywhere at any time without having a bulky, powerful laptop or without the expense of that laptop is a lot better for me, personally. I can also edit products, but, but I can also edit different projects on my phone as well. So if it is something smaller and quicker to edit, and I will just do it straight on my phone. But if it's a bit longer, then I do find hunching over your phone, trying to do small, finer details a lot harder than doing it on the tablet and having that bigger screen and more real estate to play around with things but still it is great having the ability to be able to edit videos on the phone on the go 
wherever I am at any time. I really do hope you enjoy this video and I say this is one example of what's been edited on PowerDirector Pro. I'm also going to leave some other examples of the recent videos I've done using the app down in the description below so please check them out. Also check out the other links, come say hey on Instagram and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with someone else who's looking to start making videos for YouTube or TikToks or even Instagram. Thank you for watching.